Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Car. Today we're doing one of my favorite desserts of all time, tiramisu. But today I'm gonna to do a little spin of it. Instead of using coffee, I'm gonna chuck in some matcha, which is the trend now. So here we go. So we've got some matcha, some sugar, some cream, egg yolks, mascarpone cheese, and some sponge fingers. So to start off, we're gonna make a little syrup. Normally with a tiramisu, you'll make like a coffee syrup, but today we're using matcha. If you don't know what matcha is, matcha's a green tea. Everyone loves it right now. It's, you'll find it in all the cafes. Matcha lattes are trending everywhere, so we're gonna do something cool with it. So I'm gonna make the syrup now. So the syrup, you just get some 250 mils of water. So we want to boil this syrup up and we'll get two teaspoons of the matcha powder. And then here I've got around 80 grams of sugar. So with a traditional tiramisu, you would have um, Tia Maria through it, like a coffee liqueur. But since with this, a coffee liqueur won't go well with matcha, you could want, if you want some alcohol, you can put probably a co coconut liqueur like Malibu. But today I'm gonna to do a kid-friendly one. So we're just gonna mix this up and let it all dissolve. So just get it to boils. So while this is boiling, you can move over here and to this, so you can make the mascarpone cream. So we'll start off with some mascarpone, two egg yolks and some sugar. And you can just mix it all up. Mix it till the sugar dissolves. It'll be easier if you had a hand beater, if you don't wanna just keep on mixing up because your arms do get a bit tired. So I've mixed it up and now I'll get the whisk. So you wanna whisk it till it gets all fluffy. So yeah, you just keep on whisking. It will take a few minutes. So as I said, a hand mixer or a standing mixer would make your life a lot easier. So just checking on the syrup as well. So it's already boiling now. So all you wanna do is turn it off the heat and let it cool down. This dessert does take a few hours to make. So because you wanna put it in the fridge to chill and all that and you want that syrup to cool down but I'm showing you a quick way to do it. So that's your mascarpone cream. To add to this, you would want to get some just normal thickened cream and whip this up and then you fold it in together. We'll pop it into this bowl. just whisk this up until you get some whipped cream. So as you can see, this will take a while. So yeah, so you can skip the gym the day for the day if you want to just do this. But you can slowly, we're just getting air into it and it's just getting a little bit thicker. And you want it to like a Thickish consistency with like medium peaks, which I'll show you what they look like. So now you're seeing it's getting a bit thicker. This is, it's starting to hit to soft peaks and we just want to take it a bit more. Yep, still soft peaks. And 
and there we go, we've got medium peaks, medium to hard. And as you see, it took a few minutes with a hand beater, probably to only take half of that time, but you get a really good workout out of that. Cool, so now, just get the mascarpone cream you made, and we'll fold it in, into each other. And now it's all folded all together, incorporated. And now we'll assemble it. So ideally you will want this syrup to be cold. And so you'll make it, let it chill for a few hours. You could quicken up the process by putting it into an ice bath and all that, but fortunately we don't have time for that. So we're just gonna go straight into it. So to make any tiramisu, you need sponge fingers. And then you just soak it into the liquid. And then you just pop it on like that. You want the, the sponge fingers to break because then it knows like you're soaking in all the liquid and all that. Cool, so I've got one layer first and then we'll just pop some cream on. That's your first layer. And we'll get the other layer going. If you want more layers of sponge, you can, but I love just having heaps of cream to a low ratio of biscuit. But yeah, so it's your own personal preference. So we've got that oil. Now just spread it all around. Cool, and if you still see a bit of biscuit, you can just add more on. And for now, like you could eat it like this, but I would put it in the fridge now to set, let it cool down, get its shape, and then also let the sugar syrup, the matcha syrup um, soak into the biscuit. So I'll chuck it in the fridge now for maybe two to three hours. Okay, so the tiramisu is just sitting in the fridge and it's three hours later, so I'll take it out. I'm just doing it fast. Ideally, if you can overnight, it's better. But here you go, so it's all set, like that. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle up some matcha powder, just to decorate it and make it look all nice. And there you go. Here's my version of a tiramisu, or as I like it, a matcha misu. There's a little bit of liquid, which I like. Yep. Yeah, delicious. Creamy and full of matcha.